My research topic is a model for integrating on-premises ERP systems to cloud. The research was done by Ms. Amaldini Nakiran, undergraduate, Department of Industrial Management, Faculty of Science, University of California, Sri Lanka, and supported and supervised by Dr. Ruan Vikramarachi, senior lecturer from same faculty and department, and Ms. M. Niranga, lecturer, Department of Industrial Management, Faculty of Science, University of California, Sri Lanka. Throughout this presentation, I'll be talking about the background of the research, methodology, systematic literature review, results, and future works to be done. Evolution of ERP. The basic factor that led to the evolution of ERP is the inventory control system. And then it evolved to be a material requirement planning system, and then manufacturing planning system, then material requirement planning system, and enterprise resource planning that came after 2000s. And the extended ERP is the current trend, and the postmodern ERP will be based on ERP in cloud. If you see the background of my research, integrating is becoming an essential part for an organization for its success because every module cannot be at its best in any ERP. So every ERP might have its best modules, best functionalities it can provide. So giving a full-blown solution as a ERP system is very much costly and hard to configure. So integration plays an essential part here. A survey done by AMR Research with 639 companies on integration requirements of SAAS customers, that is software as a service customers, shows that 70% of, of the companies expect to integrate the on-premises legacy applications to SAAS solution. So going with cloud ERP, is it viable? We'll see. Ghana has projected a nearly 100% failure rate for ERP projects done on clouds after 2018, that is in the post-modern ERP era, because of their higher cost and greater complexity and failed integration by 2018. So Ghana states that in post-modern ERP era, the integration strategy will play the key role. Also, another survey done by IDC states that more than 50% of the respondents selected better integration with in-house applications as one of the top three drivers making software as a service solution more attractive. So from the background study, we can come to a conclusion that in the post-modern ERP era, integration will play a key role. But it still has its own risk and difficulties. So this study is focusing on how these difficulties, these, uh, these factors can be changed in a way that the integration can be made a successful one. So this study will be considering whether the technical integration, business integration, and socio-organizational integration of factors affect the success of integration of on-premises ERP systems to cloud. So based on the research problem, the following research questions are formulated. The main question one is whether the factors under physical, business, and socio-organizational integration affect the integration. And uh, sub-question, what are the other factors that do not fall into these types that affect the integration? And question number two, how the integration of on-premises system to cloud could be carried out successfully? And under that falls two sub-questions. One is how all the factors identified can be altered to carry out successful integration and what are the best practices that can be followed in order to make the integration process a success. So the research objectives defined are identifying the critical factors that affect the success of integration of on-premises ERP systems to cloud. Number two, to identify the way of utilizing each factor for successful integration. 
Number three, to identify the best practices that can be followed in the integration process. And finally, to form a framework or model for successful integration of on-premises system to cloud. The following research methodology was followed in this study. Initially, the literature was reviewed systematically and a model was developed based on the literature. And the data collection was done using interviews and the data was analyzed using thematic analysis and a conceptual model was formed. That model was validated using questionnaires. And using the questionnaires, the data collected was analyzed and using statistical software SPSs. And the research res results and discussion were done. Finally, we reached the conclusion. Literature review plays major part in any research. So here the literature was uh, reviewed based on the keywords, the main keywords, those are on-premises systems, on-premises ERP systems, cloud ERPs, cloud systems, and integration processes. And the following literature were found. From the literature, the factors that would affect integration were extracted. For example, operational performance, customization opportunities, technological innovation, reliability, availability, scale efficiency, system flexibility are the factors that were listed in some literatures. Some other factors extracted from the literatures are business process coordination, cost efficiency, differentiation, and intangible benefits are the factors that affect integration. Market fluctuations, organizational issues, and questions of economies are some of the factors affecting the integration, according to Michael Kleber. And the project team structure, implementation strategy, database conversion strategy, risk and change management strategies have impact on integration, according to Rajiv Malhotra. B. N. Prashanta states in his research that specific needs of the company, future plans, current infrastructure, and estimated cost also affect the integration. Also, and the research by IBM states that deployment flexibility, integration capabilities, connectivity, and reusability affect the integration. So, based on the factors identified, all the factors were classified into three categories as technical integration factors, business integration factors, and social organizational integration factors. And they were for, used to form the conceptual model as you see, which affect the success of integration. Finally, using a mixed method of data analysis that included qualitative as well as qualitative data and analytics, we were able to reach the conclusion and form a model using the variables and sub-variables that affect the integration process. And it listed down the challenges faced and the solution was given to each of the challenges faced. Finally, we came to a conclusion that by altering or by managing these variables and sub-variables are the main factors that affect the integration. The integration can be done successfully and it's 100% technically possible and feasible. This study is limited to on-premises ERP systems integration to cloud. But in future, this can be extended by analyzing the possibility of integrating non-on-premises systems that are, for example, the cloud ERPs to cloud, which is a growing trend now. Also, further research can be done based on the impact of ERP integrations that would be affecting the industry 4.0. Thank you.